Hello Capricorn and welcome to One Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. And Capricorn, today we're gonna do a what you need to know right now style reading. So Kathy, let's see what you need. Ooh, message in a bottle. Well, we got an incoming message from that big talking head. Remember that from the 90s, from the third rock from the sun. But anyway, you got a message coming through here. Cappy, let's talk about it. Oh, this one wants to fly out. Let's see what you need to know about this message right now, shall we? All right, let's get into your reading. We have breaking point, limit, final straw, overwhelmed. Uh-oh. And we have curse. What the fudge? Hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. Now, remember, um, our negative mind and our thoughts create a reality. So our thoughts and our spells that we're casting can feel like we're cursing ourselves. This is a message of thinking here. We're going to find out what's going on. This is a little, a little dark energy here, Capricorn. What the fuck's happening? All right, look at this. What you need to know right now is the Nine of Swords. You might feel like you're cursed or feel like you have bad luck or something here. Okay. The Ten of Cups is how it affects you. <laughs> I know what they are. I know the message here. Okay. And Cap, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you would like one, the link is in the description box below. This is interesting. We have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands here to, to get here. So you can be with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could have Heavy Fire in your chart. Um, it could be represent. Let's see. What's underneath her? The Eight of Wands in reverse. There's a lack of movement with this person here. And you're at this breaking point. Okay, let's see what's going on. Maybe this person's just getting on your damn nerves. You got some road rage in the house. Okay, um, where I live, <laughs> the the seniors they drive in the left lane, and so they so people get pissed off, and they actually created a group on Facebook called Road Rage for My Town, and people get so angry at these seniors driving like forty kilometers and like a sixty and a seventy, and they're and it causes accidents, and it's. There's a lot of, I don't know what, someone's having some road rage for me to say that. And there's some road rage in my town. It's fucking crazy. But just remember, um, your anger only hurts you. <laughs> okay, just stop that, Cappy. Let's talk about it. We have the Nine of Swords energy here. So what does Capricorn need to know right now? Because there's something involved with this person over here, but it has a good ending. So, well, how it affects you is the Nine of Cups. No, that's a Ten of Cups. Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you've been stuck between, whoa, the Tower and Judgment. Two of Swords in reverse, Judgment, Tower, and the Five of Cups. There's, there's the Page of Cups. You'd be thinking a lot about this person here. And if it's not you, this person be thinking a lot about you, Cap. Um, five of Cups, Six of Cups, that's not the, can't even talk. Page of Cups, someone might be very flustered here. The Chariot and the Ace of Swords. So there's a, the, the, the Judgment, the Tower, and the Chariot's card movements. Someone could be making a decision to move towards this person. Someone could be making a decision to move. This person might not be so happy about that. Um, you could be afraid of how they're going to react to this, to this news that you want to move. There's a whole element here of moving, making the decision to move, but it could just simply be moving forward and not thinking about this person in this situation anymore. Um, but whatever's happening here, it's like a feeling of, of, of feeling like nothing goes your way. Huh. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, feeling like everything goes against you. Because the Ace, of, the Knight of Wands was moving away from the Ace of Swords. So it's like something is out of your reach. Something's happening. And you're fucking mad. Um, I get a lot of anger and hostility in this reading. And I feel it, it Capricorns, because nothing is... It's like you're feeling like nothing is going your way. Um, who is this Queen of Wands here? What? Someone you feel that there's an ending with. Whoa, someone that there was a very difficult... But there's the star. So someone you want to heal something with. Okay. Okay, let's continue to move forward. So what you need, well, what does Capricorn need to know right now? We've established that they feel like that. We've established that you're at a breaking point here. What's the message? What do they need to know right now? What it four of wands in reverse? Oh. Okay. Judgment is now in reverse. But the tower is still there. There's a six of swords. There's a six of cups. There's the page of wands. There's the message. What's the message of relationship? The king of pentacles. There's you. Could be relate. This definitely around. Okay. So now they've clarified. We're definitely talking about this queen of wands here is a relationship uh, with the hierophant and the king of pentacles and the lovers. So someone's stuck on you. You're stuck on them. Um, it could be one way. It could be the other. Um, it could be both of you. But I feel what you need. You feel. What I feel, Capricorn, is you feel cursed because something's not working out here. You feel like things never turn out the way you want them to turn out and you're frustrated. And the message here is to change your perspective. The tower is here. So the more frustration you show, the more negative energy that you surround yourself with, the more you're going to get caught in that cloud of, 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 of storm, um, right? So it's not, it's the negative mind. So it's, the tower here is changing your perspective about this person and about the situation. 
and saying, listen, motherfucker, when I say motherfucker, I mean, I shouldn't say that. Let me, let me rephrase that because I'm getting hostile because the energy in the cards, but listen, Mother Sophia, <laughs> listen, divine, um, I'm ready for love. I'm going to trust you here, but things need to change um, and demand that change and be confident in that change that you're demanding um, because I do feel it's a relationship. So whether it's supposed to happen with this person or someone different, I feel like you're frustrated and you're not getting with the person or the people that you want and you feel like it's out of your control, but it is within your control to a certain extent. And it talks about thinking, right? The disciplining of your mind. Because if you, we'll, go, we'll get to the Ten of Cups. So the Six of Swords, letting go of, yeah, ooh, letting go of that. Ooh, um, for some of you, there's the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this could have been an ending of a relationship and you're still mad at what this person did uh, for those cards that I saw. So there's a few different ways to interpret this, but let me tell you something. The Capricorn that's resonating with this is angry. They're mad, they feel frustrated, and they feel like things are not working out in their favor. And it has to do with this Queen of Wands here. So how this affects you, though, is the Ten of Cups. It's kind of a good card here. So let's see how we get from this motherfucking energy to this motherfucking energy. Let's see how this happens. How do we get here? What's going on? Talk to us. What's going on? The lovers. Yeah, there's like a huge energy shift. Oh, something happens with this. Oh, baby. Okay, okay. There's your message. There's the Two of Cups. Okie dokie, smokey. Ooh, what you walking away from? Holding back. All right, so Capricorn, either you're just sick of this shit you reach out to this person or this person's sick of this shit they reach out to you somebody be reaching out to somebody and this is going to transform here so if you're not reaching out like and you're like fuck that shit i ain't reaching out they reach out to you but if you're considering it then you could be the one that reaches out but either way it goes well um they're happy to hear from you you're happy to hear from them um you're stuck on them they're stuck on you y'all be thinking about each other here and there's the emotional conversation so the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and that is the action is the Two of Cups. This really creates a strong bond. Ooh, what I'm hearing is for some of you, you could be in love with a friend or a friend is in love with you. There's different ways I'm interpreting this, but so take it which one, but the hostile energy is coming to an end <laughs> and it's because you guys talk. <laughs> so the person that you want to be talking to, that you're mad about, that you feel fucking frustrated about, you guys have a conversation and the conversation goes very well. You're very happy with it. They're very happy with it. You guys are putting the past behind you. You're progressing forward. You're talking, you're bonding. Um, you're, the two of cups is here twice. And when I do a love reading or reading about two people, um, which is clearly what this reading is about, two people having a conversation um, and the same card comes out twice. It means each person's feeling that. They're feeling the two of cups with you. You're feeling the two of cups with them. And the two of cups is my favorite card in a love reading. And I do feel this is love. Um, so... Capricorn, you're happy. They're happy. Everybody happy. So we go from feeling really pissed off here to feeling elated and blissful, floating on cloud nine, because you're going to get what you want here. Um, and you get to talk to this person. Let's see how it plays out. Um, but before we do that, before we do that, let's grab some oracles. So I put the lover's oracles away because I wasn't expecting love. So let me get them out here. So what's the caring connection here for Capricorn? What's the caring connection for Capricorn? Enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. Okay, well, let's grab the lover's oracles here. Let's grab the messages. What does Capricorn need to know right now? What messages would you like to pass along? I don't understand. Okay. Maybe this conversation sheds some clarity on the situation. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Oh, okay. I'm obsessed with you. These are my obsessions. None of those are confessions. I'm just making up songs. People don't believe in me. Well, damn. Okay, okay. Well, a little. So this looks like it is going to be a very intense conversation. So let's grab the spirit animal and then we'll get back to the tarot. We have sheep. We have innocence. You are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and the vulnerability in you. Hmm. I'm going to feel that's for this conversation. Okay. Let's grab the moon cycle. We'll get back to the tarot. Feel like grabbing it. So we are cafe. We are. It is what it is. What's the moon cycle? Moonology here for Capricorn. What cycle between Cappy and this person here? You're very close to achieving your goal. The gibbous moon. There you go, baby. There you go. You definitely are trying to accomplish something with this person. <laughs> so let's see what other messages spirit guides want to pass along. And what else you need to know right now? What else does Capricorn need to know about this person's situation? Look at the sun. Oh, you're going to be happy, baby. That's what I'm saying. You go from feeling cursed to just floating on cloud nine. There is the sun riding off in the sunset. 
There's a queen of swords. Well, what's on the other side of this motherfucker? Yeah, the nine of wands. There's your conversation coming out of silence. There's your fresh start. Dreams come true. So this conversation goes well. I do feel this conversation was very passionate. It was very serious. It was very vulnerable. Here's you guys talking again, right? Someone reaches out, has a conversation, and there it goes. Um, coming out of the silence, thinking a lot about things. There's your wish come true, dream fulfillment. There's your fresh start. The fool in the sun is a really nice fresh start. So this conversation, thumbs up. Two thumbs up, right? Remember uh, Siskel and Ebert? I think that's who it was. They used to do that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, who cares? Um, so Capricorn, this works out amazing for you. So I know you're feeling like this right now, but when you, you reach out to this person, reach out, when you guys chat and talk, it goes really well. And you feel that you realize and understand they're actually feeling the same way. Um, and you guys have a fresh start, new beginning, and you progress forward here, Cap. Hey. All right, Capricorn, that's what you need to know right now. <laughs> so, Cappy, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Capricorn. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Capricorn? The answer is no. That's what I have, Cappy. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.